Hi everyone, little update on my channel, uh, I didn't upload any video lately because uh, a lot of things uh, happen and uh, I need to work on the sawmill and I know a few of you asked me plans for the sawmill, I didn't have time to work on it yet. I didn't even have time to do some video editing when I did build the sawmill, that is coming I hope soon. but. Uh, what happened is the saw head tipped over and uh, it did some damage, about $300 of damage. So uh, what I like about it is that I didn't buy a sawmill. Uh, if I would have bought a sawmill, uh, maybe it would have been more damaged than that. But uh, it's... I think it's built pretty strong because I did check it and did some tests with it and uh, everything is fine so but uh, it did cost me about three hundred dollars of damage so I will show you here uh, at the other end there what happened is I was I did back up with the tractor and uh, there was some highs there and the tractor slide the snowblower hit the side and it tipped over. So I bended the half inch bolt in the wheel there. So I replaced that. I broke a blade. Uh, the wheel here, uh, the bottom part there, hit uh, on the side bed. I did put some planks to put a tarp on it over it so it didn't do any uh, little uh, pool of ice and water so and I did put a 2x4 on top so this part here hit the 2x4 it bended the wheels and it bent the shaft inside so I needed to replace all those parts so in total it cost me about $300 and the shaft itself it bended about uh, 20 thousandths of an inch. It's not a lot, but uh, it's a lot to make a lot of vibration. Uh, I went to the machine shop and uh, that's what he told me. He tested the shaft and it was bended about 20 thousandths of an inch. Same thing with the uh, wheel here. It doesn't take that much, but uh, it did bend and it was... When I started the mill, the wheel was wobbling like crazy, guys. So now it's working fine. But uh, the video is going to be about safety, too. I want to talk about safety. Uh, you need to build yourself, guys, uh, a cover like this. You see there the blade break. And uh, I saw a video of a guy talking about... Uh, when the blade break it makes a big bang and uh, it does I was surprised I was finished cutting this piece of log there and what happened is uh, it broke but uh, it expand those blades and uh, the speed the velocity of the speed of your blade look what happened here it came out of the uh, uh, about that it was about that length when it I left it this way to show you so uh, it go through this is a 18 gauge sheet of metal here and uh, it did grow to that so imagine if I didn't have any guards on it somebody was standing next to it it would have hit that person pretty bad so you need to put yourself I see a lot of video of sawmill on the internet it's terrible and uh, man I can't believe some still work without uh, some protection like that I need to make here this wheel is still open there I need to make a guard on over this but it's not part where People will go and I will not go when it's working. I will shut it off. But thing is, that blade is a spring. 
it expand it have some velocity uh, I need to put I will put a piece of uh, thicker metal here I don't know what I will do about it maybe put a piece inside here like a circle so it doesn't if the blade breaks slide down lose some velocity or just put a plate a metal plate inside or outside but uh, I glad I did this protection over it so safety first guys always uh, if you're making a mill sawmill make yourself uh, a cover over it so thanks again for watching and uh, till next time work safe